made it at our first delivery. One of six. Just got the message from dad here. He's at the hospital and he received his COVID test result. And it came back negative. It's good news, it's gonna be a good day. Now he can get going with the rest of his treatments and then get back to life. We're just talking on Messenger here. And dad says as soon as he gets lunch, he's going for a walk in the hallway. I sent him this gif. <laughs> the man. Leaving isolation. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, this is good news, and it is a cause to celebrate. We need some Timmy's. Found a Timmy's right here. It's also attached to Wendy's. A lot of Tim's they uh, share a building with Wendy's. They must have a contract together, or are the same owners. But I love Wendy's too, so it works out. There we go. Heck, it's windy here too. Everywhere I go this fall, it's windy. It's been a very blustery fall season, that's for sure. Okay, so we're two hours from our next delivery in Regina. I called them and they're expecting us. Go there, deliver one piece. And then we're off to Vernon, British Columbia. We'll get as far as we can today yet, and we'll get there tomorrow night. And then we'll start delivering there the following day, most likely. Depending on when we get there tomorrow, I guess. So we just gotta wait and see. We're not going anywhere until we address this dust situation, though. I gotta stare at these gauges all the way there. I don't wanna be staring at a bunch of dirty, dusty gauges. It bothers me. And there's only one person we can blame for this. Weezo? Won't even look at me. It hey, wasn't me, man. What you mean? It was a ghost. So we just got done with delivery number dose, number do, numero do. We're done for today. Our next delivery is in Vernon, British Columbia. Let's see how far away that is from here. I believe it's about 1,300 kilometers, a little over 1,300 kilometers. Just gonna punch that in here. So that means we won't get there today. We'll get there tomorrow. We'll see what time. We may be able to get it off tomorrow yet. It'll probably be the next day, I'm guessing. And then my last two deliveries, Port Alberni and uh, Campbell River. I didn't even realize it. Those are on Vancouver Island. I'd have to take a ferry to get there. That would have been pretty cool. I've never been to Vancouver Island yet. Maybe one day I'll go, but this time, the stars are not aligned. Uh, those two drops got redirected to another address in Delta, a local delivery company, I guess, who's going to deliver to the island for us so that we don't have to go there. Someone honking at me. I'm out of the way. What? So yeah, I'm not going to Vancouver Island. So my last drop will be in Delta, British Columbia. And then from there, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll have a reload out of uh, Kelowna. That's very likely if we still go out of there. Uh, maybe it'll be out of Langley. I don't know. 
I'll probably find out tomorrow, I'm thinking, or, or the next day. But we're going to be busy now for a while. I know that. I've, I've got to book it. Got to get miles, miles, miles. We have a smaller mortgage now and a much cheaper lifestyle that's much more affordable, but that doesn't mean we can get lazy. We still got to keep working hard. We got to save up. We got a house to build. Proceed to the highlighted route. So just got my directions here from Karen. 1,335 kilometers. And I know, I know, my American friends are, what? What is this metric speak you speak of? One second, one second. I'm, I'm working on it, patience. 1,335 divided by 1.61. 829 miles. So yeah, maybe we'll get there in time to unload tomorrow. But I'm thinking it'll be the next morning. But if it's tomorrow, then it's tomorrow. I'll, I'll hurry up and see what I can do. We'll quickly fuel her up here in Regina. Then we don't have to worry about stopping until later on in the day. This is just a small little card lock again. And like most card locks, this doesn't have DEF. So we'll pick up DEF in Medicine Hat later. I don't want my fuel to get too low. I'm at a quarter tank right now. Now the one bad thing about these side fairings is that they prevent the fuel pump from staying in there on its own. I gotta sit here and hold it the whole time. Unless you can like cram it in there just right. But usually you gotta sit and hold it so it doesn't fall out. But it does make the truck look a lot nicer. I know, I look pretty goofy with this toque on, right? It's not my favorite toque, but it's the warmest one I got right now and the only one I could find after the move that fit. I don't know where all my toques went, but I needed to get a new one anyway. So we're stuck with this one for now. Man. 
stretch out the legs, man. So I'm in Speedy Creek, officially known as Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Stopped here for a little break. We got about seven hours, six and a half to seven hours available to us to drive today yet. So I'll probably be driving late into the night. Stopped here to have a little break, grab something to eat and stretch my legs and the weasel's legs. The sun keeps going down sooner and sooner. We say this every year. I know, you can't get over this toque, it looks ridiculous. You Americans, you call it a beanie, but you're wrong, it's a toque. And it's ridiculous, I know. It's like a Coors Light one or something from like years ago. It's the only one I could find. We moved and I have no idea where all my good toques went. I found the box that was labeled Josh's toques and it was all my like ridiculously old ones or small ones that don't fit. It was all the ones I don't need that I was like gonna give away or something. Now we're stuck with this all trip. <laughs> Hopefully we go south from BC so that it gets a little warmer and I don't gotta wear this thing on my head. I'm gonna get a new one yet, eventually. But uh, I'll wait, I'll wait till I get one that fits properly. It's gotta fit properly, you know? Otherwise it's just uncomfortable. Just go for a city here. There's gopher holes all over the place. Gopher hole there, 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 there. Gotta watch out when you're walking around back here. You're gonna twist your ankle in one of these things. Another one there. You know what you do if you wanna get them out of there? Get a garden hose, stick it in a hole, and then turn on the water. They'll come out, they'll come out. There are other ways, but I think that is the best way to do it. What are you doing? I know the sign is kind of crooked, isn't it? What does it say? Service road. I think that sign needs a little bit of service. You ready to go, man? I wanna go. Can we go? I'd like to make it into the mountains tonight yet. Maybe, maybe even to Golden? No, maybe Canmore? There's not much for truck stops between uh, that Petro Pass at Cochrane, Alberta, at the corner there on the west side of Calgary. There's not much for truck stops between that and Golden. It's a few like pullouts and stuff, but no real good truck stops until you get there. And then if you get to Golden, we'd get there in the middle of the night probably. Probably be pretty difficult to find a parking spot then. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I wanna get as far as possible today, so I got as little to do tomorrow. All right. But I'm not gonna make it there tomorrow by the end of their business day, so I'll have to start delivering the day after. So it doesn't really matter. I can make it there in one day from here. So it doesn't really matter how far we get tonight. It's all just how far I want to go and how far the law will let me go. All right, Diesel. Go in. Good boy. Well, I know you might not see much right now, but I see some flashing orange lights off here, off to the right here. What does that say? Port to vehicle inspection. Nope. No, that is all watercraft. Well, it's always so confusing here at the Alberta boundary. It makes it look like the scale's open, but really, it's not. Huh. But if you got watercraft, or if you got a boat, you gotta pull in. Strange, middle of the night. Medicine hat. I'm debating staying here for tonight. I can easily make it to Vernon tomorrow from here. I could start earlier in the morning that way. I'd rather work during daylight hours than drive late into the night. I think I might. I'm getting pretty tired already. It's quarter after nine here, which means it's quarter after 10 back home. I could stop at the Flying J here, have a shower. I think that's what we'll do. I think so. It'll be a little bit of a longer drive tomorrow then. About nine hours worth, nine, ten hours worth. Well, we can do it. We'll have the hours to do it on our logbook, and uh, I think it'll work better that way. So just around the corner here is where this, uh, I guess I can't call it a new Flying J anymore. It was new. <laughs> You gotta just go through town, down the valley, up the other side. 
and uh, that's where this Flying J is, and they have nice showers there, so like I was saying, at least then I can clean myself up a little bit, otherwise there's no real showers, no nice showers anyways that I can use until I get all the way to, oh, I'm not even sure, I'd have to think about it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably stop here then. It wasn't too full when we got here, but it's filling up quick. This useless thing off. Put it on. So yeah, if you haven't seen uh, videos in the past of what a truck stop shower looks like, somehow they gave me the handicap one. I don't know if they're trying to tell me something or not, but I don't pick which shower they give me. They just give me whatever shower they give me. So this is a little bit bigger than the average ones. That was pretty nice. That's pretty nice. It'll do the job. It'll do the job. There we go. I hate these things. There we go. May as well. Didn't work. Still gotta use the door handle. Have a good night. Thank you. Didn't see her, she scared me. Nothing beats milk right before bed. Oh yeah. When the second we get out, get rid of that. Alright, let's get our shower bag in here. Whew. Weasel, how you doing back there? I gotta clean up in here a bit. Yikes. But that's it for today. I mean, we gotta go to bed sometime, right? Got to start a new day tomorrow. 
I hope you subscribe. Uh, make new videos every day. Been doing it for quite a while. I think we're on number uh, 2,100 today, right, Diesel? Wow. That's a lot of vlogs. So, you got a bit of catching up to do. But that's okay if you want to start right here. Just subscribe and you won't miss tomorrow's video. Talk to you then.